All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another review video. And in today's video, I will be reviewing the video game Generation Zero. Now, if you guys have not played this game, play it. Don't even, you know, I'ma just let y'all know this right now. It is a great game. One of the greatest games I've played. It is one of the most challenging games I've ever played. But it's honestly one of the dopest games I've ever played in my whole life. Like, it is what I ask for. It doesn't have a bunch of different, like, you know, wild and crazy things. It's this big, giant, open-world map. And it is honestly just one of the dopest things, um, you know, like, ever. Ever to be released on anything. I bought this game. I think I do um, have it on my PlayStation. But, obviously, I, I do have it on my Xbox uh, Series X. And I have it on PC. And, yeah, this game, it's, it's one of those games where I'm like, bruh, like... I, I'm trying to think, have I had a rage moment in this game? I don't think I have, because, like, every time when I get, like, you know, into a shootout with a robot and stuff, like, it's just, it's fun. It's so exciting and stuff, so... Yeah, pretty much. So this game is this like open world robot, like, you know, killing game. Um, you got like all these different like types of robots. They do kind of like show them a little bit and like there, uh, where like there's that big giant like tank one. And then there's another big giant one, that smaller one flying like that alerts other robots to show up than them dog like ones can have either assault rifles or well not assault rifles but like burst round weapons or like full-on sniper rifles and stuff but see if they got any images yeah but the map is freaking huge um you're going to definitely be traveling yeah there's the dog like ones but yeah you're definitely gonna be traveling around a lot um the one downfall i guess in this game uh is that they don't really have like a whole lot of like um options like you know to like trans you know like transport that we're not transport but like a whole lot of like driving and you know car like options only thing they um have in this game is a bike and honestly i would rather just walk to where i'm going or fast travel because the bike ain't really all that useful so yeah uh it's just it's it's not good like i i, I wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily uh would want to you know be caught in the middle of a battle and you know getting shot at by some like freaking robots and things i'm on a bike so but anyways um yeah the game is freaking dope like i it's you know it's one of those games where it's like you just you have to play it for yourself but i do have a crap ton of videos up of me playing this game and i'm constantly streaming this game right now i'm streaming forza and call of duty vanguard but um yeah like i i stream this game like probably once i'm done with them games i'm gonna go right back to playing this game this is one of those games where i'm like i don't really see myself deleting this um from my console i really don't see myself like you know getting mad at it because i'm saying like they you know there's just so many different like you know missions and things that you can do in this game from like you know going tracking down like you know uh, like or having like there's like bounties on certain robots so you could go check them down and kill them go from like houses to houses and explore and see just you know how beautiful this map is honestly visually it's one of the greatest games i've ever seen like even playing it on last gen consoles and um now the you know current gen consoles that uh xbox series x um it still looks nice and the crazy thing about it is that this game isn't even like optimized uh, for the um, Xbox Series X, it's only Xbox One X um, enhanced. So I'm honestly like curious on what is there, you know, what it's gonna look like the day that they uh, optimize it. Because the day that they optimize it, seriously, it's gonna look in. I feel like it's gonna probably look even crazier and better and stuff. Like, I don't know how like visually good that they can get at this game, but I feel like visually it's one of the most outstanding games I've ever seen. So um, yeah, like definitely if you're looking for like a like a visual experience great game if you're looking for a shooting experience great game like even like with shooting the robots it's you would think like because this to me is a you know i would put it in that arcade game like like category but it's honestly like top tier level arcade like right there below like you know a full-on like you know big franchise game but i honestly do think that this game can be a big franchise like with what they did with this like if they continue on like in, I, man i'm telling you like if they come out with like a part two or whatever they want to do with it this game can be crazy so definitely um yeah the people behind this game um systemic reactions bruh like this you guys did a crazy good job with this game so yeah this game definitely deserves its rating four out of five if me personally i would give it a five out of five because it's one of those games where i'm like it doesn't matter like what i'm playing it on like i'm i'm gonna have fun so 
it's uh yeah it's just it's a very intense game i definitely recommend like if you if you're into like intense situations i play this game literally on the easiest difficulty and find myself in situations where i'm like bro i might not make it out of this like <laughs> i i'm i'm kind of in a situation right now so yeah this game it's pretty fun i have a crap like i said crap ton of videos of myself playing this game so if you want to go and uh watch them you very well can um and yeah if you have any questions about this game feel free to comment them below but uh yeah definitely it's a very very good game would recommend buying it and playing it and stuff so anyways and that being said i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching like subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace